Hi, I'm Larry Potterfield with Midway USA. I've got my dad's old Winchester Model 1220 gauge, made in 1953, and I'm getting it ready for my grandson. Now, in a previous project, we cut off the pistol grip, and today I'm going to show you how to cut off the stock to get the right length of pull. First thing we need to do is take off the old recoil pad. Length of pull is the distance from the front of the trigger to the center of the butt. I've decided I need 12 and a half inch length of pull for my grandson. The pad is 7 eighths of an inch thick, which means that I need to mark 11 and 5 eighths inches for the cut line. Now I'm going to wrap the stock in masking tape so it won't splinter when I saw it off. And the masking tape keeps it from chipping and splintering. Now that I've got the tape on, I want to make my mark again right in the middle of the stock for 11 and 5 eighths inches. When you hear the word pitch, we're talking about the relationship between the line of sight or the top of the barrel and the butt end of the stock itself. In a modern shotgun, we'd like that relationship to be 90 degrees, and you can see this one's off just a little bit. But we're going to mark it for a perfect 90 degree relationship for pitch, which would be what we call zero pitch. Now a trick I learned a long time ago was to make a starting cut down to the toe line and then finish it from the top, and this helps you avoid chip outs as you finish the cut. I'm using a real fine tooth wood saw, and that makes for a nice smooth cut and also helps avoid chip outs. Now I'm going to saw all the way through from the top, being very careful to keep my line straight. First I'm going to use a 10 inch flat bastard file to get the butt perfectly flat. Okay, now I think I've got this filed about flat, so we can just check it with a straight edge and make sure. I've got some 100 grit paper here, and I'm going to wrap it around the file, and that'll keep the surface nice and flat. Now if you happen to have a disc sander or a belt sander, you can save yourself a little bit of time. So that's how you shorten a stock, get it ready for a recoil pad. I'm Larry Potterfield with Midway USA. That's the way it is.